Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Will Girling here, sports and performance nutritionist. And thanks for tuning in. We are in the same room, just a bit different. That's right, it is Christmas. And with Christmas, many of you are gonna be doing the festive 500. That's right, you're gonna be doing 500 kilometers between Christmas day and New Year's day. It's quite a hard venture for some of you, and many of you may be doing it spread over the few days, or a few crazy nutcases out there might be doing it in one day. Before we get into today's video though, remember, if you like it, like it. All right, let's roll that intro. Yes, so today we're gonna to be doing my top five, five, well five, tips, because that's really working well with the festive 500. It's 500K, we're gonna give you five tips to get you through 500K. That's right, some form of maths, just like that. All right, so, tip number one. Tip number one, tip number one, tip number one. So, my tip number one, calories. That's right, you need to be making sure that you are getting enough calories to support recovery, to support performance, and make sure that you're not gonna get ill when you're doing such big distance over a small period of time. Now, utilizing the power data and heart rate data that your um, head unit or whatever power meter is gonna give you, and using that with your RMR, your resting metabolic rate, will help you in supporting your calories. Now you can obviously be in a calorie deficit over this time, but be aware that you are opening yourself up to potential infection and that the focus then is not getting through the ride, but it's you trying to get body fat losses whilst doing 500K in a very small amount of time. Tip two. Tip two. On the second day of Christmas, the tip I gave to you was protein. We talk about protein all the time. We love protein and you do too. But what we want to do here is make sure that we're getting regular protein feedings. Protein at least three to four times a day or every three to four hours. And I'd recommend the serving to be around 40 grams, but it could be anywhere between 0.3 and 0.5 grams per kilogram body weight is the recommendation. But to make it really simple, four servings of 40 grams should serve most people well, especially if you're not in a calorie deficit. That does mean though, if you are out on a ride and you're coming up to needing a protein intake, because let's say you had breakfast and you head out for a ride three hours later, you're due a protein intake as you're heading out. So having something like a protein bar or a whey protein concentrate in your bottle or a protein gel, because some companies provide those, would be recommended, and this will really keep protein balance high, because on a scale like this, we have a protein balance, we wanna stay positive, because positive protein balance equals recovery. And good recovery equals adaption, and adaption means you get fitter quicker. Love it. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me pre-carbohydrate feedings. <laughs> if you didn't see my last video on pre-carbohydrate feedings, link in the corner, then you know that because these are training rides and you are wanting to get improved fitness and adaption from these rides, that having 75 grams or less of carbohydrate before the session is adequate to get through the session and to enable you to still get fitter. My recommendation to you, because it could be ambiguous for some of you would be having at least 40 grams of carbohydrate before the ride, if not up to 75 grams. This is because if you didn't see the video, a quick tip is that high carbohydrate intakes before steady state endurance rides have been seen to lower or blunt mitochondrial biogenesis and not get as much out of it. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me how much carbohydrate to have during a ride. <laughs> That's right. So this is the big one for today's topic that many of you are gonna be interested in. How much should I be having during my ride? Well, this does vary, as always. Context, how long is your ride? How intense is your ride? How much elevation gain is there? There's many things that could come into it. But I'm gonna give you a guideline and say that you should be having at least 40 grams an hour, if not up to 90 grams an hour. If you are doing very big rides, if you're gonna try and do 500K in one day, then 80, 90 grams an hour 
is for sure what you should be hitting. If you're doing mixture of going low day, high day, low day, high day, then you probably want to be going smaller amount on the low day, larger amount on the high day. My recommendations of what to have and how that might look for, let's say, 60 grams, which many of you might take, as it's probably the general intake that I would recommend across the board, if you're doing anywhere between three and four hours of riding, 60 grams an hour is pretty good. Unless it's hard riding, then it'd be 80. But 60 grams could look like 20 grams in your bottle, 500 mils of water, 20 grams to 30 grams of carbohydrate. Soaring lunchbox loaf, 18 to 19 grams of carbohydrate. That's 40 grams. Third one, Liebkuchen. If you haven't tried it, it's amazing. It is a German gingerbread cake biscuit thing that is really tasty. And for two of the biscuits, you get 16 grams of carbohydrate, one gram of fat. So you take four of them, and that's 32 grams of carbohydrate. And it's tasty. Um, you could do that, that's my suggestion. That's purely festive. It's a festive 500, do a festive fueling. But, but, if you don't like that, it might go crummy in your pockets. I haven't ridden with it myself. I just walked around the house with it, and it could be messy, but anyway. If you don't want to do that, you can easily do some flapjack. I have a recipe on my website, link down below. Check it out. That'll be tasty. Add some cinnamon, star anise, um, allspice. It'll taste really Christmassy as well. Maybe add some mince meat. Not bad. Obviously, for the people out there in the States, mince meat is what you have in mince pies, and it's sweet, not literal meat. But anyway, that'd be 60 grams. Sweet and easy. If you want something savoury, a good recommendation is pretzels. Pretzels are amazing. Salted, crispy, carbohydrate, low in fat, bang. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me the last tip I'm giving you today, which is post-exercise feedings. That's right. I've also done many other videos on this, link in the corner. That's right, what you're having after your ride. Now, if you're doing a very big ride, you're doing 100, 120K, 150K, maybe even more then what you have afterwards is really important. And I would recommend ha having at minimum 0.3 grams per kilogram body weight of protein with 1.2 grams per kilogram body weight of carbohydrate. Now, if it's a particularly depleting session that was very hard, you're very empty when you get home, then that 1.2 grams of carbohydrate should be repeated per hour for up to four hours, depending. This is speeding up all the glycogen restoration, because when we finish exercise and all the contractions have happened, certain transporters are more accessible and improved at doing their job at transporting carbohydrate into the muscle. This is one in particular called GLUT4. But we're maximizing that essentially and having 1.2 grams per kilogram body weight of carbohydrate per hour for up to four hours after exercise is gonna maximally aid in glycogen restoration. Now, obviously, if that takes you over your daily calorie allowance, you will gain body fat. So think about your day, think about how you need to do it, what you're also doing, like, social-wise, if you are doing anything. But high GI choices would be also be the recommendation. That could be simple white rice, it could be bread, it could be numerous other foods with fruits recommended as well. And do a really quick summary, because that's how we describe summaries. We're saying 40 to 75 grams of carbohydrate before you head out on your ride. Protein every three to four hours with a target amount of at least 40 grams. But some of you who are bigger may need more. Three, per hour carbohydrate amounts. Minimum 40 grams an hour, if not up to 90 grams an hour, depending on duration intensity of your ride. But the average, I would say, would be 60 grams and would be perfect for most of you out there. 60 grams look like 20 grams in your bottle, a soaring lunchbox loaf, and four Liebkugeln. But you have other alternatives, like the flapjack I suggested, link down below. Four, calories. Make sure you get your calories in so you can recover and adapt to exercise and don't get ill. And lastly, five, post-exercise feedings. Get the protein in, 0.3 grams per kilogram body weight at least, with recommendations at 0.5 for the most part. 1.2 kilograms body weight carbohydrate to help with glycogen restoration. This is mainly key if you are riding again within 
12 hours. But if it's a particularly depleting session, it will also aid recovery for the next day. That's it. Oh, that is my five top tips for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below if you did. Remember, hit that like button if you liked it. Share it with your friends who you're doing the Festive 500 with, if you are doing it with friends. Or if it's just a group, in your group, just send it to your friends. Let them know how they can feel the best for it. Also, if you didn't know, I have a free ebook on my website. Link is also down below. So head over, check that out, download that, have a little read. It might be perfect for you in the new year because it's about the habits into your life for weight loss or fat loss in specific. And last off, head over to my Instagram. Come say hello. I'm going to be doing some chats over the holidays. So head over, check that out as well. Have a conversation with me. Talk about nutrition. Talk about your nutrition. Win. As always, guys, though, feel for the work required. <laughs>